Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too.
<laughs> Diaz brothers. Always. So... Are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes... I feel that she's around, coming after me. It's scary. <sighs> she's lucky you didn't go after her. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, We'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Inano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of... The wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied a mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> Um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too, right? <sighs> yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. <laughs> Every star looked the same. Until we used Karen's old guidebook. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind. I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop trying. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, Striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. My back 
hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, man. I do look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. so incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Activate flashlight. On the way. God damn. That food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for taking a piss when the only one fell. I know. You tried to warn me. At least we got to see Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah. These guys are real cool. Hey, see this? Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Then Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Um... 
confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... I mean... She hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. <laughs> I hear you. Hmm. Good thing I'm not scared of heights. Are these things poisonous or something? <laughs> it's a cactus, dude. It stings. That's all. <laughs> Lame. Daniel? I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Ooh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh. Uh... Good question. You know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Oh, oh! Oh, man. So many wolves in this desert. <laughs> anyway, like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah. Definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss him sometimes. <gasps> My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. <sighs> you know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while, okay? Oh, look, look, oh man, I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. <sighs> I know. Looks like a job for our local super Whoa. psychic boy. Happen? Rock slide, I guess. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man.
I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Still can't believe she's kept it. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. <laughs> Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. So good to have a home, again, and a real bed.
Glad they're back on track. Hmm. I'll always have a crew out there. Prody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. I miss you too, sis. Hope we can take some new pictures someday. should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Hmm. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. It 
Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew, and dust free. Thanks so much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years, until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area for the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. Dude, I don't care what they do. That's their life. Aw, uh, don't be such a buzzkill. I just mean, they're cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. <laughs> 
dude. Remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Hey, Daniel. Let's take a little break. Got it. That child is... something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <sighs> I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick... I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Maybe that's supposed to represent the Earth. Or a ball. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you... slam dunk the Earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup! Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Now, let's throw on that spider. Watch this. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Check it out. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. 
it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. Silver Runner. Copy, I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10 4. Okay, you're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Warm, getting closer. Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. You're warming up. Not too far. Getting warm. You're in the middle zone, not too far. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he could visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yep. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Instead of snowmen, we can make sand castles. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris.
found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Watch out! I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. Hey. <laughs> Literally. Good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. Hey, what's up? How was the town trip? <laughs> hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hide rating. Oh, right. You can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope 
Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <sighs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. <sighs> I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> I'm divorced now. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway. You can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. <sighs> okay. Time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Hope my crop. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. So make it. Looks like they all finally found their home. Is that a new statue? That woman is amazing. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. 
Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid? Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. Ah, 
I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And where you're going. <clears throat> By the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things.
Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, you'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It was so good for Daniel to see you again. He needed that more than anything. Please don't give up on your freedom, okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. Look at that. They won't ever leave us alone.
Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Should go see what David wants now. Hey, <laughs> Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but. Go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. I feel you, David. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse or whatever. <laughs> Didn't think he'd be the type of guy to get custom plates. What's David doing with that? Creepy dude. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. This place has too many adults. Uh, no. Climate hoax. 
Go on, sir. Uh, all I was saying is, uh, now you have these, these, these eco-terrorists trying to shut down our way of life. Just to, just to punish us. You can't even look at a, a tree anymore without getting some, some fine or new regulation. If the earth is getting so damn hot, I mean, why is there snow? Ugh. I applaud you, sir, for not buying into the climate propaganda. You are? Nah, nothing there. One thirty six, listening. We've got reports of a wait. Is this it? Sam's now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Thanks, David. You big rebel. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I'd been. I should have listened to Chloe, instead of being a bully. All of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. 
but the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. Right on time. Yeah, I'm good. Ooh, old school bottle opener alert. Don't worry, I'm mostly working when the sun's going down. I'm gonna take care of you, little buddy. You got that right. Now, how about you? Oh, uh, any news from the vet? You'll be fine in Mexico. Don't worry. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. <sighs> yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. <sighs> Listen. Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you. And he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals. And you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. 
Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Damn. Can't wrap my head around those two leaving. It will be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. After all this time in a community. A wood cutter who lives uh, underground and he can fly thanks to his rocket feet. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. You see, you just have to let your mind do the job. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You just... Hey, what's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. Oh, <laughs> good. That makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around <laughs> was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. I know, sweetie. I'll miss you too. I had so much fun and inspiration building all these things with you. Me too. It's the first time I use my power to actually build something. I usually just use it because I have to. 
Hey, don't worry. I'm sure we'll get another chance to work together. Once you're settled. Yeah. I hope so. Looks like we got everything. Time to hit the highway. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to Away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inanna. Come here. Mom... I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both. And what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean. This is it. Thanks, Mom. For being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. Something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? How do you think we can live here? No more running, and I don't... So... What are we gonna do for money and stuff? I... Get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school... Dude! I can't even speak Spanish! How can I make friends or... Do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... 
Well, that sounds okay. I guess. <sighs> Daniel, I get scared too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. It's so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. Mom, why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. I hope so. Why can't they just leave us alone? They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. Uh, hey. Wow. People really just leave stuff for Why the would immigrants? They build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. I hope I can pay this forward. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's going to be super easy with my power. That water must be a hundred degrees. But it's way better than nothing. This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. Shit. I didn't think there'd be more than a barbed wire fence out here.
So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. to brawl? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. <laughs> we did it! <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man! Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean! That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some Choco Crisp. It'll be so Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. 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 No! No way! Not now! Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey! Uh. Uh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a door cut through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. 
I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No. Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Yeah, don't move. Ugh. What? What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What'd I say? Uh, okay. Take a breath. You okay now? Oh. Daniel! What? I, I, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. What the hell is wrong with these people? Seriously? Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my ten-year-old brother! It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The fall is what knocked him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh. This place is fucking gross. This guy must be trained not to listen to anything we say. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad, um, queremos llegar a México. 
a México. No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos podido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? No sé, creo que soy un poco pesimista en el camino. No solo me encontré con gente amable. Me imagino. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work. No, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, no, no. That was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. A honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant and he worked his ass off, raised a family and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. You win. I would like to get out of here soon. No, you no va a ganar. Dile esto, Carla. Ya, basta. No vale. Oh, fuck you, you wetback. You and your what girlfriend. What the fuck? Yo! Madison, everybody calm down. <sighs> Campbell, tell me we're out of here. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit. Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. And no more fighting down here. Or I'm gonna get mean. OK. 
Okay. Let's move it. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. <sighs> Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. Of course not. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? Why am I in here? Hey, hey, hey! Let me out of here! Well, I'm not illegal! I'm a sovereign citizen! Open up! Hey! What are you babbling about now? Do you ever just not? It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. If I have to come back here again, you're going to solitary. Got it? There you go. Looks... Like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Keep your teenage crisis for Agent Flores. She's on her way. She spoke to your mother who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well... It's too late now. 
Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. from Mexico and got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who try to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. That sucks. Should we do something? Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? What the fuck are you? He's out for the count. Gracias. Good thinking, Daniel. Okay, hands oh, up! Shit! Don't hands move! Up. Shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean! Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick! I gotta find something to stop them. The chair! Don't stand up! What the fuck? They're dangerous! Be careful! We will shoot if we need to. Understand? Fire extinguisher! I'm scared! Fuck. Do okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything stupid! Put him in there. Now! Okay. Uh, uh. You're the man. Now let's move. Sean, I think our things are in there. Hey, hey, hey! What did you do? You fucking murderers! Step back. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. I bet it belongs to one of these trigger-happy people. There's 
probably more of them coming. Let's go. Pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. <sighs> we would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate Sean, that he has to on. use this for all this shit. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go. Let's roll, Daniel. Hurry, Sean. Drive. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all point bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. You know that day in Seattle, the day Dad was shot? I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that 
You always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. <laughs> Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end?
Thank you.